Hey guys, Rich Pacini, your YouTube blogger and creator here. Today, I want to talk about what is a social media influencer? Are you a social media influencer? You're thinking, eh, I don't know. You are. You are. You're, you're, you're a social media influencer. If you're making content and you're putting it out there on YouTube, you are a social media influencer. So you're probably wondering, okay, what, what, what is, how did this come about and why are you doing this video? Well, you know, folks, for those who follow me, I am very curious by nature, right? A uh, guy, I should say. I'm a very curious by nature guy. And I always like to know things. You know, like to know the beginning of things, how they start, how they end, and everything in between. But I was on my Twitter uh, account, and I'm going to go there right now. And I was looking over here, you know, I, I, mean, I would check things to make sure because sometimes I think about changing up the banner and stuff like that. And I was looking over here, I started on my YouTube channel back in 2013, love sharing information with people. I talk about online reselling and aura vlogger, sharing the latest news. And then I came across here and it said, social media influencer. Hmm. So then I clicked this little circle over here and it says over here, professional categories. Categories are self-selected. And are not assigned, verified, or endorsed by Twitter. They didn't say hit learn more. It takes you to another little window, and you can read more into it. So anyway, with that in mind, I said I wanted to type in what is a social media influencer. So this is from Pixly.com, and I will drop the link below. You can read. There's not much here to read, to be honest with you. This is it right here. This year, and there's a video which I'm not going to play because I don't want to get you know any uh, community guideline strikes on my YouTube channel. So it goes on to say here, a social media influencer is a user on social media who has established credibility in a specific industry. These content creators have access to a large audience and can share information to persuade others through their authenticity and reach. Social media influencers often partner with brands promoting products or services to followers in exchange for monetary compensation, free products or discounts. And like I said, again, I will drop the link below and you could read more into this here. When it says learn more, it'll be over here end to end uh, influencer marketing platform. But I will drop the link and you guys could check that out at your own leisure. So I did one more further than that. <clears throat> I said, let me go to my favorite. Let me go to ChatGBT, and I did. And um, let me just refresh the page here. <laughs> and I typed in the same thing. What is a social media influencer? Now, I'm not going to read this thing verbatim, so I'm going to let this program that comes with Windows 10, it's called Read Aloud. Well, that's what I believe it's called. Anyway, that's when you click it on, it says Read Aloud. And I tell you the truth, the uh, generated computerized voice there that comes, you know, that, that does the reading it's pretty good i think so anyway and it's for free you know so uh you guys if you have windows 10 you should check it out it'll be usually on the uh test bar on the pop there or should say the uh address bar and it's usually at the end it'll have an a there and that's the one you want to use okay what i got to do though folks in order to get this to work um i'm going to mute my mic and i'm going to let read aloud play it for you okay all right let me mute my mic now what is a social media influencer? Chat GPT, Chat GPT. A social media influencer is an individual who has established credibility and influence within a specific niche or industry on various social media platforms. They have a significant number of followers and are capable of persuading and shaping the opinions, behaviors, and purchasing decisions of their audience. Influencers create and share content, such as posts, videos, and stories, primarily through platforms like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and others. They often specialize in a particular area of interest, such as fashion, beauty, fitness, travel, technology, or lifestyle. By consistently producing engaging and relatable content, Influencers build a loyal following and establish themselves as authorities or trendsetters in their respective fields. Social media influencers leverage their popularity and trustworthiness to collaborate with brands and businesses. They promote products or services through sponsored posts or partnerships, often incorporating endorsements or product placements into their content. Influencers may also monetize their influence by creating and selling their own merchandise, 
launching online courses or coaching programs, or through brand collaborations and affiliate marketing. The effectiveness of influencers lies in their ability to connect with their audience on a personal level and cultivate a sense of authenticity. By sharing their experiences, opinions, and recommendations, influencers can shape consumer behavior and influence purchasing decisions. However, it's important to note that the authenticity and transparency of influencers can vary, and it's crucial for followers to exercise critical thinking and discernment when evaluating the information or recommendations provided by influencers. Okay. The reason why I picked this out, folks, this particular thing here, is I wanted to highlight some stuff, and this goes out to the new YouTubers out there who are thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you don't know what to start it about. Okay? Right over here, for the people, again, to start out, it goes over here, right here. This is one of the things I want to highlight. Okay? They often specialize in particular area of interest, such as fashion, beauty, fitness, travel, technology, or lifestyle by constantly producing, engaging, relatable content. Influence, influences build a, follow, a loyal following and establish themselves as authorities or transcenders in their respective fields. Now, that's one part. And then the other one is over here, um, which I say sometimes to, to people when, they, when they're following my channel, you share your experiences and opinions. When you start a YouTube channel, folks, you know, you want to be formal and you want to get right to the point when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, or I should say in this case, a, a video. But the thing is, um, you want to share, again, your talents. And this is the question that always comes up to me every now and then when we're having uh, get-togethers at the family events or whatever. Uh, people find out, oh, you're a, you're a YouTuber guy. You're, what's your YouTube channel about? And you go into this whole spiel. They talk to you about, and like they talk to you like you're a celebrity, which I'm not, of course. And they ask that question, that 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 number one question: Why did you start a YouTube channel? All right. And I just come out and tell people, love front and honest. I've been for you know, very straightforward with it. I started my YouTube channel back in 2013. And I had no clue what it was going to be about. And like, what? <laughs> you saw the YouTube channel and you don't know what's going No, I didn't. But you know what I have to say, what I have to attribute with the help of eBay, which you're probably saying, what does eBay have to do with a YouTube channel? Um, what eBay has to do with it is because back then and to the present, you were able to embed videos in your eBay listings, right? So with that in mind, I was like, hey, that's a good idea. You know, it's a good way to break into the uh, YouTube creative field, whatever. And I said, you know what? Let me try it. So what I had is a little, a battery operated electronic little monkey that has a banana in his hands. And every time you took it away, it was brand new, by the way. Every time you took it away, he would scream and rant and stuff like that until you put the banana back in his hand. And once you did that there, it was good to go. And the premise behind that video, the reason why the video was to show, quote unquote, the potential eBay buyer that, hey, this item works. So, you know, just to let them know if you buy it, it works, you know. And one thing curtailed into the other. I started doing the sneak peek videos, the demo videos, and intro videos. And folks, if you don't have a specific niche that you want to start when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, if you are an eBay seller, you could do the same thing. You could start a YouTube channel. You could go to yard sales, and when you come home, you could do videos on the items you picked up, the items you're selling, and you could share some stories with you when it comes on your eBay journey. That's, that's one way of getting into it, okay? Because there are quite a few, uh, quite a, not quite a few, a, a lot of uh, eBay sellers out there that have pretty successful YouTube channels. I mean, you know, you got thousands of subscribers, and some of them uh, hit the 100,000 subscriber mark, and they're doing pretty well for themselves. Now, if you ask me who they are, I don't know, I don't remember, <laughs> because there's quite a bit of them out there. But um, you could do the same thing, especially if you're a person saying, I want to sell a YouTube channel, I just don't know what to start about. If you are a seller, or it doesn't have to be eBay. You could be an Etsy seller, you could be a person that sells on Bonanza, uh, Amazon, they're, you name it, they're out there, folks. Okay, so when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, you don't know what to go, you know, to, uh, you know, start it, start about, that's one of those areas that you could check into, okay? Um, the other thing is, uh, you have talents and passions 
And you might say, well, how is that possible? You know, how, 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 do, you, how do I have, how do you know if I have talents or passions? Well, when people pop that question to me, uh, they say, well, I don't know if I have talents or passions. I tell them my comeback would be is, well, what are you good at? And a person may say, well, I know how to build. Okay, maybe you were a carpenter and you gave it up because you know, you're doing a different, you're in a different line of work, but you still remember how to, you know, pick up a hammer, a saw, whatever, and, and you know how to teach people. You can teach people how to build things. Uh, dog houses, sheds, or whatever. You know, you could share your talents like that. That's that's a talent, right? Known right there. Um, how about if you're a person that knows how to paint? Maybe you could paint landscapes of uh, the forest or you know, babbling creek in the woods or stuff like that. You could teach people how to paint. You know, you who knows? You might be the next Bob Ross. <laughs> you never know, right? And the list goes on and on. You could be a baker, a cook, a chef, whatever. You name it, it's out there. Okay, so you guys, you all have talents. It's just that we just don't apply them. Okay, and that applies to me too. Okay, so you know, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I think a lot of people are very hesitant on starting a YouTube channel. You know, and it's it's a shame because you guys might have good good quality features out there, like as far as like with talents and and passions that you could share with people. And because it's all bottled up inside, you're not putting it out there. And there are people that would love to probably see what you have to offer. They would love to watch your videos. And some people may say, yeah, but how do I know if my videos are going to get, they might get little to no views, a little to no uh, subscribers. You know what I tell people like that? And I said this in my other videos. It's like the war was lost before it was even fought. Folks, you've got to go into this with a clear head. You can't go with, with, negative, uh, with a negative thought like that because if you do, it's always going to be in the back of your mind. You're saying stuff. I'm not going to start it. It's not going to work. Like, how do you know it's not going to work? And do you have friends that are like naysay, say, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't get involved with it. It's not going to work. Your channel's never going to grow. Suppose it does grow. Then what? You can't listen to naysayers when it comes to uh, projecting an idea right there. Okay? Listen, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. This, we, you know, In this world, we go, we're going to pass this path once in life. You might as well do something you enjoy doing. And if, if you love creating videos, if that's your passion, like I love creating videos, um, or selling on eBay, you want to be an eBay seller or whatever, an online reseller in any different platform, go for it, folks. What do you got to lose? Especially creating YouTube videos. I mean, they're for free. There's, they don't charge you for this here. So I want to take advantage of it. And the other thing I want to say is with regards to that, um, use the YouTube shorts to get the word out, folks. Don't disparage you know the uh, YouTube shorts because I tell people to use it it's a good way even though it's a minute long it's a good way it's a segue into your newly YouTube established new YouTube channel you know YouTube channel there so why not use it take advantage of it that's free too you know take advantage of these freebie things that that YouTube has to offer you know what I'm saying and like I said again I could I could attest to this I have been using the YouTube shorts you know uh, to get some certain things out there on the out, out to the public and I have to honestly say uh, my channel I've been getting a lot of views with them and I have been gaining subscribers from them okay from the YouTube shorts so don't disparage them use them okay um, the other thing is uh, I will say this I don't want to keep it too too long folks because like I said I want to you know I just throw this out there I, I'm doing this video with the, you know to encourage you guys out there who are debatable or like you know sitting on the sideline thinking should I shouldn't I and I'm here to tell you guys right now I am I'm your number one cheerleader for years I want you to go out and start those YouTube channels and video and create those videos because I, I can't speak for everybody I know myself I would love to see them you know and if you did start a YouTube channel and you create a video and you want to drop a play you know, uh, uh, what do you call it a, a link below in the comment you know to share it. I'd love to watch them I really would and I know there's a lot of people out there that I probably love to watch them too so please you know I'll be your number one fan <laughs> don't give up please don't give up on your dreams and before I close out this video um, in regards to this like I said I don't want to expand too too much on the topic but I just wanted to throw that out there um, if you guys uh, you know want to check me out subscribe to my channel this is my YouTube homepage right here as you can see Richard J. Pacini on my reseller vlogger I'm the entrepreneur and vlogger, help inspire and share. And that's what I created this YouTube channel. If that's what it's all about, to help inspire and share. I call it the His Initiative, to believe it or not. I'm thinking of changing the banner around, but that's another thing too, folks. When it comes to creating a YouTube channel, come out with a nice banner. And whatever your whatever your channel is gonna be about, 
um, put it in there. You know, if you're a vlogger or let's say you're a person that teaches people how to cook, maybe you could take a picture of you in your kitchen, you know, whatever, with the apron on, getting ready to, and with, next to the stove and you're cooking something. You could come up with some nice little, uh, you know, catchy uh, banners like that. Uh, you could also create them with Canva and uh, or Adobe Express, which I recommend is either or, either one of them. I use both of them. They're both good. But, um, you know, you come up with a, a nice little banner like that there. This way it gives a little idea when people hit your channel, they know what you're all about. Like if people hit mine, they say, oh, okay, this guy's an online reseller. He considers himself an entrepreneur. He's also a vlogger, you know. So, uh, you know, do something a little getchy like that there and uh, just to catch the person's attention. And stay with it if you could. For the most part, in regards to uh, a niche program or channel, I should say, that's totally up to you. Uh, my channel, for all intents and purposes, I want to keep it an open forum, meaning that I like to talk about, you know, how I create my videos, um, the, what do you call it there, uh, the equipment I use, like my cameras, I have digital cameras, I like to talk about things of that nature, and I like to cover other different topics. Sometimes I throw a little how-tos in, in, in my video uh, YouTube channel, and sometimes I do do-it-yourselves, okay? I did a couple little quick cooking channels uh, way back then. And uh, they're not bad. They're still up there as far as I know. I didn't get a chance to look at any comments on them, but uh, I don't know how many people have been watching, but I did it back in the day. You know, but, um, you know, we all have talents and passions uh, to uh, share with people. So I really hope you guys will do it. And, you know, I got a little notations here um, that I wanted to share with you guys. In regards, it said, like, oh, this is one of them um, I had written down. I it says, okay, I want to encourage all new YouTubers out there to please don't give up. Do not give up on your dreams and uh, not give up on starting a YouTube channel. And of course, I always say in there, I wish you guys all the best of luck, the best of success. If I could do it, you could do it. And the other thing I wanna say too, really quick before I end this video, the worst thing for a new YouTuber, okay, listen closely, is not creating videos. Seriously, if you want your channel to grow, you need to make videos. And remember what I always tell you guys out there, when it comes to creating videos, Keep it real, keep it original, and let your channel grow organically. And don't forget good titles and thumbnails. Okay? Those with those five things I told you right now is what I use to create my videos. Okay? Keep it real, keep it original, and let your channel grow organically. I've seen videos out there, people that you you know, YouTubers out there, they say, you know, they were talking about buying subscribers and buying views or whatever. Folks, when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, you want people who are going to subscribe to your channel because they like what you have to offer. My channel, I want to put out good, clean content, okay? And I want people to, if they subscribe to my channel, I want to subscribe because they like me as the creator and they like what I have to offer. And what I have to offer is good content. I think so anyway. Some people may beg to differ, you know. Um, you know, but that's just how I feel about it. And I hope that when you guys out there, uh, you start your YouTube channel, um, you'll put out good, clean content. And, you know, be yourself, you know. Uh, it, you don't have to be a person that has to, you know, be so flamboyant and stuff like that. And, you know, just put out good, clean content is what I'm telling you guys, <laughs> seriously. Um, and I wouldn't do anything foolish, like I said, you know, and when, when it comes to uh, picking a category uh, for YouTube, they have different categories. Uh, I started my YouTube, YouTube channel back in the day, back in 2013. I, uh, I used the entertainment uh, for my category. But if you're a person that's going to be doing more that's geared towards people or you know, sp specifically for that there, you might want to use the people in blogs. I was thinking of doing that one time, changing the category from entertainment to people and blog, but I started off with entertainment. I'm toying around the idea, so we'll see what happens, but right now it's gonna stay as far as entertainment. Um, and the other thing is, really quick, I like to keep my, like I said, I wanna keep my channel an open forum. I wanna be able to discuss other things, keep the content fresh. This way you guys will keep coming back to hear what I have to say, you know? But I'm gonna let you go. Um, again, if you like this video, or if you check out any of my other videos, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated when I post any videos, please hit that bell notification icon. This is Rich Bassini signing off. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye for now.